So again, line it up to the floor. So actually, uh, this should be three times four hundred. So one thousand two hundred, and let's just do minus. Wait. 100 hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, all right. 800 here and then minus 600 is perfect. So Try to line it up so that it doesn't intersect with any geometry here. And this seems good. So now what I like to do is create a new layer, name it copies. Duplicate the cloner object and just move it in here, also the cube, and then just shut it off. Now, if you're doing something wrong, you can just go in here and use this guy. So now, uh, what do you say, uh, convert it, the cloner, and now you get all these cubes as single cubes. So now you can just go in here, select single cubes and delete them. Now make sure you uh, delete only uh, cubes that are in the middle. So let me shut this off. And so if you delete this, this won't be pretty good because you got no shadows around here. Right, so I'm gonna delete these two and these two and this guy and let's go out of the camera and maybe this one. So, alright. Uh, let's see what we got here all right so now what you need to do is texture these cubes that are right here above with the same texture as the background therefore select them hit shift Hope I got all. And again, hit C or this button to convert them to polygon objects. And yeah, now uh, the easiest way is just to bring them up so we got them all. And then just select all, go to this button here, and select all the uh, all polygons that are at the top, right? So I hope I got uh, the right. And then just throw this material on there. So if we hit render, we see it made a texture for every single uh, polygon. But we want them. Uh, the texture to integrate into the scene. So how we do this is select all the textures, go to protection and select frontal mapping. So now it integrates into the scene but we got some shadowing here or you know. So uh, select all of them, go to text Cinema 4D text and compositing tag 
and just select background compositing and uncheck self shadowing. Now this should be better. Right, perfect. So uh, I guess we need to do the same thing with, with all these polygons right here. So everything you see has to uh, get this texture except for these here. We want to make some Minecraft textures in here. So select all these cubes here and again hit C. Drag them up. And same thing. Again, select them all. And select these polygons right here. Track the texture and set it to frontal mapping. Perfect. Now you need to uh, put the same compositing tag on these cubes. So just hit Command on Mac or Control on PC and drag it, drag and drop. Perfect. So if we add some ambient occlusion now, we should see. Right, perfect. And let's see how it integrates. Really nice. Now let's do the Minecraft texture. Create a new material and go into the color channel, go to texture, noise, and with this arrow you can see all your noises. So that's pretty useful. Select this one, it's the cell noise. And yeah, let's see how this works. Uh, first of all, change the colors. Select a very dark brown and a very light brown. So, mm -hmm. you can choose this value here if you don't like the one you have. This seems pretty good. And now you need to select all your cubes that need this texture. So go out of your camera and start selecting with shift I hope I got all, so track the texture on uh, anyone and now you see that this texture is above our texture that we set up before and that's not what we want. So go in here and now just track each texture below the other one so this could take some time but you get a really nice result I'm sure there is a way to make this faster but so uh, if anyone knows this way write it in the comments and let's see what we've got uh, seems like the text is too small, but first see if we got all of our cubes. Really good. 
So now just I use this magic preview and now I can just uh, change the global scale and get a really fast result. So drag it up, maybe 300. This seems pretty good. So download magic preview. I try to put a link in the description, it's free and you get really really fast results. You can change the quality down here. Really useful. Yeah. And that's basically it. I guess. Now you can just add some lights to your scene. I got a door right here. So I'll try to recreate this with this area light. Set the intensity to maybe 50 or 60. Change the shadow to uh, area, make it a nice yellowish, because it was day, right? And of course, the door was behind the camera. So and move it up. And also there are some lights above. So duplicate the light. Rotate it. By the way, I'm changing uh, these with its E. This is T and this is R. So E, T, R. Sorry. Really fast way to change them. Looks really nice. Now you could add just some global illumination. And so these are basically my standard settings. Uh, this is the ray length, I guess, in English. So set it to 2. And let's see, seems really good and seems like it sticks very nice to the scene. Now you could just add any stuff you would like to. You could also do the same thing with this wall here. And what I do is I add a cube. Again, hold Control on Mac, and on Windows I actually don't know which key this is, so hold Control, drag it up, and make the same values as the other cubes. And again, another very, very useful plugin which I use all the time is this here, and it sets the actual object that you're using. Uh, it looks where's its very lowest point and makes this the to the floor. 
Hope you got the idea. It's very, very useful. I'll try to put a download link in the description. I use this all the time, so I love it. And yeah. This obviously got no shadows at a plane. Drag it below our cube. Go to, th to the top view and scale it up so that all the shadows will be on this plane. <coughs> and at the same compositing tag again to this plane. And of course the same texture. Frontal mapping. And let's see. You can see the shadows now down here. And yeah. Uh, let's make another texture for this. You can just duplicate this one and go in here and set it to green. Alright, set it to cubic mapping. Should work pretty good. And what I forgot to do is I always add a sky object, duplicate my footage and drag this one into the luminance channel and set it to maybe 150 and go to text in my 4D text and compositing and uncheck scene by camera. So now you will get uh, the scene illuminated by itself. <laughs> Sounds weird, but I think you got the point. Now you can see some issues here, but really small and if you don't have the cube here, I guess nobody would notice it. So maybe move the cube around, of course with the layer, uh, the plane, sorry. Let's see. So now you see it here. Maybe play with the compositing tag. Seems to be better. So what I did was I uncheck this one and see if better. So I will do a quick preview and we will see us later. So yeah, I ran that 50 frames and you see it sticks very nice to the scene. Really good. And yeah, you could also do another clone around here. And as I said on the wall, or the possibilities are endless, I guess. So, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. And we will see us later. Bye.